Hi guys, I'll be solving the second question of the three questions where we have that was shown to me using flowchart and pseudocode. So let me show you this, uh, the question. I'll be solving this one next, calculate a running sum because it's much more almost similar to the first question. So this is algorithm. We start, we accept the number. If the number is less than zero, we print. This go to we just keep to this 60 and print. If it is not less than zero, we sum the number. We go to 20 again, ask the user to enter another number. So we keep summing the numbers till the person enter a negative number. So here is here is the first thing. On my first video, I've explained the symbols. So you can just go back and check this. Thing. I'm using draw.io. The link will be in the description so that you can if you want to use it. So I will start. This is this is start. I just put the text for you guys to understand. Here, this one you, you to accept. I'll say input input x. Let's say the x will be the number. So now let me point. You just highlight at the edge, and you can just draw your arrow. Please, the arrow is very, very important. So we check a decision. If if x less than zero, if it is less than zero, we come down here. We come down. This is the option to print. Let's say print. Print some. So let me keep pointing the arrows. Highlight, yeah, highlight. But if x is not, uh, so it's not less than zero. Let me put the arrow. What do I do here? I'll do sum is equal to sum plus x. So here we'll be summing the number. So let me point our as I'll if I will go back to the so let me adjust the okay so now let me go back we'll start let me stop also I'll explain these things for you guys again this the direction of the arrow so we we accept the number from the user then we will check the number if the number is a negative number then we terminate the program print the sum and stop but if it is not a negative we sum the number we keep adding the numbers together as far as the number is not a negative number we keep entering and we keep summing the numbers until the user enters a negative number then we stop we stop summing and print the number print the total sum with the no, the ones we've summed the, the, the sum will print it out then we terminate our program so let me go back to the algorithm we input the number if the number is less than zero we print and stop if it is not less than zero we sum we go back to this 20 which is here you enter another number we keep summing as far as you did not enter a negative number we keep summing once you enter a negative number we stop summing and print out so this is the solution both the algorithm and the flowchart for this solution please kindly subscribe to this channel and like this video for more of this kind of solution please thank you so you can save your diagram or once you go to you just open the page to ask you where you want to save this diagram into but since i've already opened it you can just come here once you click on save, it will take you either to Google Drive or anywhere on device. It will give you an option to save. Thank you.